Today I am decluttering. Decluttering is like one of the best feelings. It is so nice to get rid of things, whether it's donating things, throwing things out, recycling, like repurposing, whatever it is. It's so nice to go through your things, know what you have, find out what you forgot you had and donate and get rid of and just like clear your space. It's so wonderful. There are some things I've been wanting to declutter in my house for a while. I'm gonna go through all these different things and show you guys basically just my process. There is one particular category of things that I have to go through that I'm not looking forward to because I like all of them. So that's gonna be a little more difficult, but the other things I'm going through I think will be a lot easier um, and really just like freeing to get rid of. So let's get started. This isn't that many mugs. <laughs> it's true, I for a long time have had a, not an addiction, I would more so classify it as a obsession with mugs. Mugs just like call to me. I gotta get rid of some because I have one shelf for them in my kitchen and it's getting tight. P.S. If you haven't already heard, Charlotte is playing in her play saucer. So if you hear her bouncing away, my apologies. This is so hard for me. You guys know Marie Kondo who's like, like pick something up. And if it gives you joy, you keep it. And if it doesn't, get rid of it. But here's my problem. <laughs> all of these give me joy. <laughs> they, they all do. This one gives me joy. This one gives me joy. This one gives me joy. This, they all give me joy. I get joy from all of these. So I think I just need to stop procrastinating and figure this out. Over here, I'm gonna put the mugs that I for sure know I have to keep. And then on this side, I'm gonna put the mugs that I kind of just immediately go, don't use this one as much. I really like it, but I should probably just pass it on. That one for sure. I love this one. Um, this was my dad's and I stole it when I left home when I got married. This one makes me think of my grandma. lot more difficult than I think it really should have been but I actually feel really good knowing we're getting rid of six mugs I'm repurposing two of them so that's eight mugs that I'm getting out of my shelf and keeping the rest of these guys I'd say that's pretty good for having to get rid of stuff that I'm obsessed with next up are the four bins I have in our block shelf and these have basically stored random things that I don't use on a super regular basis to start with. So it's time to clean these puppies out. To be totally honest, I think a lot of these things will actually be easier to go through and get rid of than the mugs or other things. Just because I have the mindset of I, I don't even know a lot of the stuff that's in here. Let's get cracking. All right, we got books. I'm gonna keep this book because so my mom wanted to read it. C.S. Lewis, I will not get rid of C.S. Lewis because he's just that awesome. Oh, I totally forgot I had these. I'm gonna keep that. In Defense of Jesus by Lee Strobel. Go read it, it's so good. Booky things that honestly, I feel like will go better in somebody else's house. The Bible. You said it, Charlotte. Donate it, keep that. I actually wanna read this book if I can get around to it. Donate, donate that. It's Eli's book, never got around to it. Just recycling. I'm gonna hold on to this one. I'm fairly certain I borrowed this book and I don't know who it's from, so I should probably hold on to it. I'm gonna keep this, this is gonna get passed on. Okay, so we got movies. Pretty much all of these are borrowed from my parents or my brother, so these are staying. Handle is staying, keeping this book want to keep this book. More movies, just get rid of them. Keep that. Ooh, that smells nice. I'm definitely keeping that. Where did I get this from? Next, it's 
a little recycling. A lot of this stuff is Eli's and he's not here right now, but what I usually do is I just put everything together for him and then later have him go through it and decide what he wants to keep and what he wants to get rid of. This will just go in recycling. I think we're making pretty good progress, guys. Eli's gonna wanna keep this. This is just in the recycling pin. Really old wallet. All right, now to put all the things that I'm keeping back in the bins and get all this stuff packed up. I have had this honking big thing for a very long time. I liked wearing necklaces and earrings and like so many things at once and I really grew out of that. I'm a lot more minimal with my jewelry now. I did go through my jewelry box like a year ago I want to say and or maybe two years and that's when I really got rid of a lot of stuff. But I don't want this huge thing anymore. It's so massive. I have it like hidden away in my linen closet and I really want to purchase something that's a lot smaller. Um, and so I need to downsize what's in here in order to make that happen. I also have this uh, little guy here and this is just sort of the earrings that I wear on a more regular basis. I do want to look through here and see what else I have. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to go to the store and get some little tiny baggies to put individual like earrings into. I will be doing that at some other point this week, but until then, I'm just going to go through it and put everything into this bag here, earring-wise that I don't want, and I'll figure out the rest later. Onto studs, I like wearing studs a lot more than dangly earrings, but I do need to get rid of pretty much all of these because I don't wear them a lot. Um, so I'm just gonna start picking through them. For today I hope you enjoyed decluttering with me I hope maybe it inspired you or just made you laugh at how much I love my mugs and I'm still having a little bit of a hard time parting with them but I know it's for the best and it feels so good to get rid of so much stuff even though I didn't get a whole lot together to donate I did get rid of a lot of things from my home and that is the main point in decluttering is to get rid of your clutter, whatever that may look like. So thanks for following along with me, guys. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, put it to use, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.